Big roast, huh? Okay, stop popping out. Oh, they we're so deep in the gang territories right now. It's like, Ooh. and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are in wonderful South Central California once again, right here off of Slauson and Figueroa. Heat wave taking over Los Angeles currently. It has been 100 degrees every single day for the last, I don't know, I want to say uh, like five days in a row. It's been 100 degrees. Today, it's been a little bit more chill. I'd say it's like 85 right now. It never fails. Whenever I say, you know, oh, crazy heat, someone's like, yo, dude, I live literally on the sun. It's not that hot out there. You need to stop complaining. And you're right. You know what? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's so hot that I literally cannot record videos during the day because this GoPro, the 11, overheats within maybe five minutes when I start recording while it's hot. Oh, wow. Just bent the corner and looks like there's a... Uh, I'm going on. Eh, it must not be that bad. They're in there laughing and, and chuckling. An alley right there. We're in an area that uh, we don't really usually come down. We're always taking pictures of uh, what? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I literally cannot record during the day. So it becomes like this. Uh, oh shit. Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna mind our own business. That dog looked like it wanted to chase us, but we made it out just fine. Anyways, are you chasing us? No, we're good. Um, yeah, with that level of temperature, it's just hard to get out during the day and film. I don't know what else to say. It's almost, it's not even just hard, it's borderline impossible. It's kind of a sick ramp, but it goes on to the freeway off ramp. Not too much I can get done right here. So basically, I have to wait to the end of every day to start filming. And you guys know, by the end of the day, that alley... Oh, man. Oh, we got a tiny dog. We got hats. Dude, see, that's how you can tell it's hot. Once the sun starts really coming out out here in L.A., People start making money <laughs> and there's plenty of ways to make money when it's hot in uh in los angeles so basically heat wave has just been out of control lately man it was up where i live it's been 100 plus degrees it's like 110 i want to say man it looks like he got shot low key that you guys see that window this alley's kind of sketch this is one i was just looking at hey um, dude, I, something happened to that guy's window. It looked like he either got hit by a hammer or shot at. Either are pretty uh, likely scenarios out here in this specific area of LA that we're riding in today. We're out here in the mix. And I mean, we started way further south than we usually do because uh, I just haven't, I feel like I haven't explored far enough south yet. That was two reasons why I should not be doing that. One, when it gets hot out here in LA, especially in the hood, it starts getting, um, you know, a lot more tense and hectic than it usually is. It is just, uh, it's way more of a hostile scenario when it's hot out here. That's the easiest way I could put it. So that's why I try to not be out in the middle of the heat in, uh, <laughs> you know, in, in some of the worst neighborhoods of LA. Not even some, just straight up the, the worst neighborhoods is going south of Slauson on Figaro, which is where we are right now. We're playing it cool for now, we're just chilling. But um, yeah, so it's you kind of have to figure out the right time, which is now, it's not too hot. People are just kind of getting off work. It's not sundown yet. Once the sun goes down and it's still hot, that's when things really start to get kind of hectic and you don't want to be outside um, anywhere. Not just down here, but I mean, I feel like anywhere in LA, it's kind of like, uh, it just turns into like a massive free-for-all. Look at the traffic right now. First off, as you can tell, people are just trying to make their way home right now. And me, I'm just shredding. Having some fun on this bike. I haven't ridden it in an entire week. That's how long it's been since we last made a video. 
Uh, to be honest, I've just been working on my second channel, which by the way, if you guys want to see the raw footage of today, make sure you guys tune in there. You'll be able to see everything I do. If I end up cutting anything out, which I probably won't, but you know, that's where you can find the raw cuts of everything I get myself up to. But uh, we're cruising down Figueroa for a bit today. We're just gonna see what's going on down here. And uh, there's that. What the? Yeah, Figueroa. Guys, <laughs> need I say more? That's stuff you can see on this street all day, all night. So, also, there's just been so much going on in the city lately, man. I feel like. I don't know if you guys saw that insane car chase that went down uh, just a few days ago. I guess it'll, it'll be a few days ago by the time I post this. It was yesterday. But this guy stole like three cars in a row and just kept stealing cars. Like he was going into gas stations, hopping out of the car he just stole, and then stealing somebody else's car live, live on television. It was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. It was one of the craziest chases by far uh, that has went down in LA. If you guys saw that, comment down below. It was wild, bro. It was just out of this world. I was up in the valley. That's not where I live, but I drive through there to get to come to the city down here in the hood to come film. So uh, I saw a bunch of places I recognized in that chase. I was like, oh, shit, he's going by the, uh, you know, that's the freeway exit. I take some time to go to the Best Buy, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a Best Buy right there where he got stopped, a nit like, finally. They finally pulled him over and got his ass. But uh, you guys know the deal. We're just going to be freestyling a little bit today, cruising. Right now we're on Hoover and Florence. Oh. Oh. that dude is on one. He had like a crazy alien mask on. I can't really see with, uh, with the glare, but he had some type of weird mask on. He's uh, off of a good one to say the least. We're gonna go ahead and go south on Hoover for a little bit. Yeah, we're out here. See how long my GoPro lasts. It should do a little bit, it should do better right now because it's it's relatively cool. 85 is good enough to get some recording in. But dude, when it was 100 the other day, I tried to film a video, overheated within five minutes. Like that's, to me, that's just like, that's unusable, right? Because even though I have two GoPros, realistically, I would need a third one to go do a full day of recording. I couldn't just do two. I would need a third GoPro. And then that's just like, I, that just doesn't make sense to me. Look at this kitty. It's tough. Oh, that's a street cat right there. He did not hesitate upon the side of me until the very end. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and get across the street and get back to, uh, to Florence. I mean, figure out. This is these are areas that I really rarely go down. Yeah, these are areas of LA that I very rarely go down. There's a fire truck going down over there. Another thing, my videos where I like randomly run into fires have been absolutely blowing up lately, which is crazy. But you know, it doesn't really surprise me. People love clicking on weird fire thumbnails. Not figuratively but literally thumbnails of fire <laughs> people just they can't help but click on them so um let's see we're over here back on fig back on fig in 75th we're much deeper than we usually go so we're gonna go ahead and just uh mosey around here for a bit and see what we can run ourselves into because this is uncharted territory for me that's a cool little spot right there actually let's see if we can make something happen with that Eh, not really. Plus, at somebody's house, I don't really feel like getting shot today. Or any day. You guys know my quote. That's how it goes. I don't feel like getting shot today or any day. Ever. So, we continue on. Southbound on Figueroa. Let's go ahead and maneuver around. Saran feeling amazing. Figueroa stuff. Okay. Oh. Went on fig. Here's the funny part about this, is that you see these girls scantily clad. Oh, uh, we got dogs. Don't worry, I'm safe. Um, oh wow. That's uh, 
That's stuff you see on fig, especially when the sun starts going down. It's starting to get cool and it's warm out. So, you know, they can, uh, they're just out here in the uniforms. Anyways, this street is known for that. You guys, years, you guys have all wanted me to come do the fig ride, blah, blah, blah. Come shred fig. I know why. All right. I don't know how, you know, I really don't know how much I can include. I, I still on this cut that I'm making right now. I'm not sure how much I can actually include. There's a dude who's going super viral just riding around on this street with his bike. And I'm sure he's <laughs> he's doing pretty well for himself with the amount of views he's got just going up and down fig like around these same streets. Kind of crazy. And I'm sure people are going to start following his lead soon. You guys know I've been riding around these streets for actual years. That's six, seven. Look at these dudes. What is that thing? What is that? <laughs> that thing's sick. Wow. The e-bikes of South Central. E-bike scene here is strong. I gotta ask this guy about his electric bike, bro. There's girls all up and down here working. It's kind of crazy. And the, the even crazier part is it's like, it's been like this for decades, not years, decades. I'm talking about since I was a child, Figueroa has been known. Look at dude, homie is mobbing on an electric tricycle. Bro, oh, look at this. <laughs> hey man, you mobbing on that thing. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> Bro was smashing, dude. He had a hub motor on a one of them gangster tri- Dude, that was the coolest thing we're going to see all day, for sure. He had a hub motor on one of them gangster tricycles. Uh, if it, in LA, there's a huge scene for, for tricycles, and you put, like, big speakers in the back. And you know, you make it look cool. You put like spokes, like special spokes on a wheel and uh, you deck it out for your sports team, whatever, such and such. But point is, oh man, people are coming in hot right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, he had an electric version. That's the first time I've ever seen that, ever. He had, an he had a hub motor in the front and homie was just gassing it, smashing it. <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. What are the odds we see two people on electric bikes back to back? out here in South Central LA, deep in the hood. We got the cops hopping out. Oh, they just, oh, oh, oh my God. Uh, are we gonna comment on what we just saw? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna let it be. Anyways, uh, homie's charging his car on the sidewalk. Hey, South Central things. When you own the property, you can do what you want. We're getting a little deep in the streets right now. We're gonna go ahead and cut through, uh, I don't know, the, 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 the world is my oyster right now. Let's see. I do wanna cut across the street though. It's just uh, traffic everywhere is pretty outrageous. I am very curious about what we just saw. I'm not gonna be too nosy, but like, what exactly was the context of that? Well, we are going to sneak past one more time, be nosy. I'm going to go ahead and say she was working and they pulled her over and now they're giving her a lecture. That's what it looks like. Anywho, wow. Straight to the jump in the hood in LA today, man. We got straight to the action. Straight to the, damn, that car got totaled. Just chilling. Straight to the sights and sounds of the streets, folks. That's, you know, one thing about the summer in LA is that stuff starts happening, man. Once you go outside, you just immediately, you start seeing things, you get involved in stuff, if you want to. Many of you guys know, I just ride around. Matter of fact, we're gonna ride down this alley right here. Old school, is that an F? Uh, no, it's Chevrolet, I thought it was an F10. C10? I don't know. I don't know my old school truck. Someone in the comments can fill us in. There's a school right here. You know what's one thing I do notice about these areas? This is, this, we are in the hood, folks. You, know, you don't know, we're like deep, we're deep. We're deep in the streets right now. This is uh, this is places where you can't go. If you don't know where you're going, don't come here. 
you know, type of stuff. I just, uh, I'm so well versed in these streets. I know all the cuts and the avenues and the getaways that uh, I feel fine, like, uh, roaming them. But um, one thing I will say is that even there's a, I had a viral clip go the other day, or not too long ago, I had a clip go viral where there was a huge, like, uh, a homeless camp right outside of the school. That is something, you, look at this, bro. Hold on, I was mid-thought, but look at this. We're not gonna go down this alley, I don't think. We're so deep in the gang territories right now. It's like, I'm just watching my back for dogs. Look at this, they have the alley completely blocked off. Can't even go through it. This is a this is a, a through way. You know, you should be able to go through to the other side, but they straight up said, you know what? We're gonna make our house here. Am I mad at it? No, not at all. Not at all. There's so much going on out here. It looks like the, the ghetto bird is coming in. Helicopter coming in hot. What's going on? Is there a situation out here in South Central? You guys see that bird coming in? They may just be coming in doing a, you know, recon route. Hard to say. Anyways. Straight up activity out here. Got the street basketball game. Love it. Going against the sun, I'm trying to just get through that street because I couldn't really see where I was going. Um, we are back on Fig, I believe. Actually don't know which street we're on right now. I think we're on Figueroa. Coming up on Florence. Absolutely shredding on the Suron today. I'm gonna go ahead and swerve around. Oh, we got some Interesting looking alleys right here. Dude, we're, we're definitely in, in alleys that I've never been to. This one's pretty unique. It's kind of like on the side of a road. Let's see what's going on down here. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see what I see, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. You know, I push the boundaries here and there, but I even I have my limits to uh, what I will and will not do. We're going to go ahead and cut up Broadway a little bit. Brakes on a Suron starting to squeak. Completely stopped bike I've been riding, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys the story of this Suron, but uh, I bought it almost brand new off of a viewer for a, a steal of a deal. Then I have another one sitting in my house, brand new in the box. That was the one I was putting, look at that, a sick. I was planning on doing a giveaway with, but I just haven't figured out the logistics of when you're doing a giveaway with a legit thing like a Suron, it's a lot different than the BMX bike giveaways I used to do back in the day, so bear with me as I figure that out. Mobbing. We're gonna go ahead and go back on Fig right here. Broken glass, everywhere you look out here, every single place you look on the ground where a car could be parked, there is broken glass there too. Pretty wild. All right, coming back up on flower. Mobbing. I think we're about to hit fig right here. Dude, how wild is it that we saw that? <laughs> Those curls working, man. I don't, I don't know if. I can really, how much of that I can include, but damn, they're just out here naked, like basically naked. Insane. I'll try and do like as much as I can possibly without uh, getting demonetized, but wow. That's just, a t that's, that is horrible. That is a horrible way to live. For me, it's not even like funny or, or or anything special about it. It's just terrible. That's just, it's just really, it is really terrible. Just out here basically naked. Craziness. Yeah, well, if you've never been to LA, uh, now you know. Yeah, they really do just stand out on the corner like that. 
That is, uh, that's, that's what really goes down out here in the hood in South Central LA. It's really that turned up and crazy, yeah. I wouldn't have believed it myself either if I hadn't seen it. But I've seen that so many times, it like doesn't even... Ooh, that's a big dog. What's up, baby? We gotta catch a thorough way to get out of here. What is this dead end? I feel like I'm in Mexico right here. Holy. Oh, this is dead end. Dude, this street is crazy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in, I straight up feel like I'm in Mexico. I've been to Mexico and there's plenty of streets that feel just like that. Whoa. All right. Oh, dude, there's so many dogs ready for that action. Look at that. <laughs> dude. Wild, dude. We'll talk about an adventure out here in South Central today. I don't even know what is going to be, uh, you know. There's just so many things I can make the topic of today's video about, but uh, we're going to have to do some uh, some research in the lab. I'm going to have to talk to my YouTube rep, see how much of this I can actually share with you guys. Because, uh, you know. Yeah, I don't think I need to explain any further, but. We're going to go ahead and try and mob it out of here. Escaping from South Central. Surin edition. Out of here. overgrown house dude it's crazy that someone owns this house it's probably such nice real estate but it's just so crazy looking i always got to check it back in south central even when you stop for two seconds to look at your phone you gotta check your back hey hey okay folks pretty crazy day first day back in a week um straight into the the heart of uh straight into the lion's den so to speak we went straight to uh yeah the hood in the comments if you guys enjoyed the video let me know subscribe if you're new make sure to like if you enjoy the content that's it see you guys in the next video very soon peace out